Hey there, so I just wanted to get your opinion on something. Um, you know, I often say that if you follow the right steps, you can habituate to tinnitus faster. And then one person said, you shouldn't tell people that because then they might feel like, well, they're not habituating fast enough and then they'll just get discouraged and they'll, they'll get this hope, oh, I can quickly habituate and then when they can't, then they'll get discouraged. So you shouldn't tell people they can do it faster. <coughs> and then they also said that sometimes people will have setbacks and then they thought they were going fast and then they have a setback and then, you know, so you see the logic there. I, I, I think I would like to keep my story going here and say, I think you can habituate faster. And even if you have a setback, if you follow the right steps, you can do way, way better. Do you agree? So I, I, today's video is, I hope you'll answer me and, and tell me your opinion on that. I really do believe that one of the reasons that people don't habituate, there's a number of reasons, so let's, let's do the reasons people don't habituate. Um, I think it's usually not because they have some medical illness that is, it cannot be solved. That's usually not the case. Like, very, very rare would that be the, the scenario. Um, but they start to, they don't start to, they, they have, they have this sound all the time. So they quickly get this feeling like, oh my God, my life is over. I'm lost. And they have this negative attitude about it. <clears throat> and they repeat things over and over again, you know, that it's so loud. I can't sleep. And, uh, my life will never be the same and all these type types of things. And it gets programmed in and then the, the, the subconscious brain uh, does all kinds of wacky things to make us very anxious and, and nervous and um, you know we get into this sort of, a, of a, a place that we can't get out of so I do believe that through <laughs> changing those thoughts and saying I feel okay um, I can do this. Uh, I think the sound's going to gradually get easier to, to cope with. Um, it doesn't bother me anymore. Uh, I kind of like the sound. These all little mind tricks and stuff actually change the subconscious brain, change the perception of the sound so much so that it starts to either be easy to not notice, easy to cope with when you do notice it, <clears throat> and I, I do believe in this. But I don't mind someone coming along and saying, I think you're wrong. <clears throat> because if I'm not willing to admit that maybe some things I say aren't correct, or maybe not for everyone, then that's, that's a weakness on my part. But what do you think? I really do think <clears throat> that, excuse me, I'm still getting over this cold. I really do think you can do it faster. Um, and then learning to divert your attention. Boy, that's a powerful thing, whether you, for all kinds of people, not just for tinnitus, but when you can get your attention on the right things that would be helpful to you and get your mind in the right state of mind, that's already powerful. But <clears throat> I do believe that what tinnitus does is it, it, it brings your attention to the tinnitus over and over again. And by learning to get away from that idea, you know, and think of something else, it definitely helps you habituate faster. You get where you can get your mind off of it. So, um, again, uh, it's a little bit different video today. I'm, I'm not quite giving therapy or anything. I'm actually asking your advice, but I, I, I think you can do it much faster. And I, I have a feeling a lot of people will agree, but I don't mind some disagreement. <coughs> and since my throat is bothering me, I better stop this video. So I'll, I'll talk to you next time.